Hey guys, Matt Starr, mattstarcoaching.com, and I hope you're doing great. Uh, if you watch the video to the end, I'm going to give you a link to get you a bunch of free tools to get you to start making money in the music business right away. And that's at the end of the video, which is just a few minutes away. So, the topic for today is how to start a career in the music business without any money. And I was looking through Google and I was surprised to see that this was a really common search. So for me, I was seven years old, you probably heard this story, I saw inside of a KISS album, blew my mind, that's all I ever wanted to do, so for the next, you know, eight years of my life it was KISS, uh, Cheap Trick, Aerosmith, ACDC, Iron Maiden, eventually Motley Crue, you know, and I was just obsessed with it. So I never thought about actually developing a career in the music business, I just was obsessed with music. And so that brings me to the first ingredient that is absolutely essential for you to have success in your music career or in any career and really in life, and that is desire. To have a desire that you know in your heart, this is why you are here on this earth. There may be other reasons that you're here on this earth, but that this is one of them. And if you don't have that desire, this isn't the business for you. And really, if you don't have that desire or passion for any of your relationships, I would highly recommend that you look at creating new relationships that are fulfilling. Except for the one with your parents, can't undo that one. But for real, on the relationships you choose, whether it's a significant other or your friends or the kind of career that you have or the line of work that you're in, that is a choice and there's an infinite number of choices and so never be afraid to make the choice that's right for you and if it doesn't feel right, get clear on what it is that you really desire and make that choice, right? So I'll give you two examples to illustrate that point. I was doing a workshop in South America a couple of years ago and a student asked me, how do I know if a music career is right for me? And I said, you already know, you're asking me. And he kind of wasn't sure what I was saying and I said, if you have to ask whether or not you really want to have a career in music, you don't. You can play music, you can play music on the weekends, you can do anything you want with music, but if it's not in your heart, then don't bother to do it. And so here's a flip side of that. When I was about 14, 15, uh, it was really clear to my parents that I was obsessed with music and that's all I wanted to do was play rock and roll. And so we uh, lived in Connecticut and we had, uh, there was a family get together and one of uh, my cousin's friends lived in New York City. She was an actress and she was living in New York and you know having a tough time of it. And so my mom said, oh, talk to my son. Basically, I think to try and scare me out of wanting to be in music. And she said, you know, it's really rough. You know, I got friends that live in their cars and it's a really rough road and following your heart and being an artist is a real struggle. And so my mom came over and she said, do you, do you still wanna be in music? And I said, yeah, why? It didn't even connect to me that, you know, what this woman was telling me about the struggle part. I just didn't care. I just didn't care because all I wanted to do was play music. So there was no way you were going to stop me from playing music. And I think that's how you know when it's really for you. So the first ingredient would be absolute desire, right? Second ingredient would be, uh, again, if I wouldn't tell this to a 14-year-old, I would just say, man, just follow your heart and like rock out and keep discovering new music. But if you were searching and you found this video, then obviously you are perhaps a little older, even just in your 20s, but you're thinking of it as a career. And so... I would get clear on what kind of music you want to play, what you want your career to look like, what kind of artists or musicians are living the dream that you want to be living. And what they call it nowadays is branding. But I would just, if you're going to work, say I want to apply for a job at Coca-Cola as the CEO, I'm not going to walk in looking like this, right? I'm going to take the nail polish off. I'm going to take off this jewelry. I'm going to dress and look the way that somebody who has that job should dress and look. Right? Oftentimes people think, well, rock and roll, you know, hey man, it's a, I'm an artist, and yeah, I know, but you can't walk in with khaki pants and, and hair parted to the side, right? Unless you're gonna do like a Weezer thing, right? So it needs to be thought about and you need to have a clear image, right? You wanna look and you want your social media to feel and 
uh, resonate with people that are on that same tip as where you're wanting to be. Okay, and again, this is a little calculated, especially if someone's saying, you know, do I want a career in music? But again, I wouldn't be telling this to, uh, you know, a teenager right out of the gate. But if you're looking at this as a career in music, I would say that the uh, second ingredient would be that, to have a really clear idea of what you want your career to look like, what kind of artist you want to be playing with, and that you start putting out your branding now. Get the rest of the stuff together down the line. But the branding is important because so many times I have artists that I produce and they say, oh, so you know, what should we do for our marketing, you know, for our record that's coming out in a month? I said, a month? You guys should have been on the social media tip for years, you know, since the beginning, growing your fan base. Your fan base doesn't suddenly appear just because you're ready, right? You've got to grow that fan base and make a connection with them, and then they will, you know, be open to hearing about what's going on with you. So, those are two ingredients. Talent is an important one, but there are plenty of people that have had successful music careers with desire and a clear image of who they are as an artist. The talent is negotiable. And I'm not recommending that you don't be awesome and be the absolute best you can be, right? But Dee Dee Ramone and Getty Lee both have careers in legendary rock and roll bands as principal songwriters and inspired millions of people to pick up a bass and start playing. Two very different skill le levels, right? So the point is, it's about that desire and then about having a clear idea of who you are as an artist. And even if you're a drummer or a guitar player and you're not the focal point, who you are as an artist. So, thanks for checking that out. If you are a member of our Backstage Pass Club, you are going to see a link below and you're getting this video in your weekly email and you can click on that for some bonus footage and features and I'm going to give you some more information in that video. If you're not a member uh, of our Backstage Pass Club, then you want to get some more information on that, you can go to mattstarcoaching.com forward slash Backstage Pass. And that's our membership site and you have access to dozens of videos and a lot of tools and uh, it's a whole community. We do weekly strategy calls. There's a lot of great uh, aspects about that. So you can check that out and for the free tools that I promised you at the beginning of the video, if you go to mattstarcoaching.com forward slash free tools, it's one word, you're going to see a list of articles I've written for various publications on an array of subjects all applying to being an independent musician and having a career in the music business. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you as always for sharing. If you got any questions, just feel free to hit me up, mattstarcoaching at gmail.com. Okay, bye-bye.